Hi everyone, hope you're all safe and well. The year is 2020, it may be going crazy out there and where everyone's locked down and not able to go out or do anything. But I'm still playing Disney Infinity, I'm still able to create in this absolutely amazing game and I love it. And this is one of my levels which is called The Mandalorian. So I've just got this finished and over the next few weeks I'm going to show you how you can create the exact same logic yourselves and recreate the entire level. Uh, obviously it's based on the new uh, Disney TV show and I'm not going to give you any spoilers on that so don't panic on here. But as you'll see we're in our most nicely spaceport which uh, a few weeks ago we created. So this is a level within that, uh, that city. Uh, and what we have in this city with a few minor adjustments we have these little prison cells. And what we've got to do in this game is we've got to rescue a number of baby Yodas. Now in the TV shows there's only one but we've got three that we've got to save and they are going to be trapped in these three prison cells. Okay. Now the first thing we have to do is find our guild member to help us track down our rest of our Mandalorians because this is the way. Uh, and if you've seen the TV show you'll know what that means. So you'll see here I've got scattered around the base some contact that I've got to try and find and there he is highlighted. Now the beauty of this is every time I play this game the contact regenerates in a different place so I'm going to have to search for him every single time and I did that because I wanted myself to be able to play it and feel that it was a new game each time. And you'll notice there that when I go up to that person it says right collect the coins. Now what we've got to do is we've got to go and collect the um, Mandalorian metal which I believe is called uh, Biscard. Now every time you collect one of these collectible metals you'll notice there the count has increased and it increases every single time. Now you've got three minutes to collect these and with the jetpack guy it's a little bit easier but every point you get is a Mandalorian that will come in as backup so that you are actually collecting for your soldiers, you're, you're basically collecting your guild and these are your troops that are going to come in and help you defend or protect the baby Yodas when you're trying to get them to escape so it's vital you get as many of these pieces as possible uh, and I'm going to go through, I've got a whole clip show you how to do this logic but this is thanks down to uh, Mitty287 who showed me how to use the uh, collectible tracker which is a game changer for me I, I did not know how this worked uh, and they pointed me out in the direction and it's brilliant so thank you very much uh, Mitty287 uh, it was a bit of great help which is why I love all your comments so make sure you put all your comments on here because I read them and I don't know everything and it does help uh, for you to point me in the right direction so you'll see here we've got these various little objects that we're trying to race around and do it and with the jetpack it's a little bit easier if you do it with a soaker it's slightly difficult because you have to jump and climb but I've designed the level so you do have areas where you can climb up and move it but when you've got a jetpack it's quite straightforward and if you've seen the TV show the the metal there, there is a connection with that with the metal. Uh, the Mandalorian metal is very tough uh, and can withstand blaster shots and stuff like this. But I've got these scattered throughout the whole city, which allows us to roam around, look at this. Uh, and one thing I've also done is I've totally redone the mechanics to do with the people in the city. So I'm going to show you that as well. I'm going to break each of these little steps down. So you've already had the clips in April how to build the city, as in have the ships flying through and the objects in there. What I'm going to concentrate over the next few weeks is basically all the logic that makes this actually a full-blown gameplay level. And I wanted this level to be an adventure, I just didn't want it to be a, just a blast and shoot. So there are a number of set objects, and object number one was find your guild member. Once you find your guild member, that's great, that will then trigger you to go and find all your Beskar metal. Yeah, so we're going to go find and collect as many of these as possible. And the clock is ticking. Right, and object three, and you'll see here this is a new little feature that I've added to the map, is our little communication tower. Now, what we do is I've got 19 now, I've got 19 Mandalorians that are going to help me through, but when our time runs out, the communication tower is going to open up, and we need to now kill the officer in that communication tower, that will give us the security key to go and free the Yodas that are trapped in that cell. So you'll see here the door will now move down, and we will now see that the guards through so we're going to go and kick some butt and get rid of these guards so there's a number of troops down here so we've got a little battle and I was again making sure the numbers don't match now what you don't realize has happened in this gameplay is that as I've landed I've deleted all the uh, props all the people the people around have disappeared to free up the memory 
Uh, and so what I do, what I'm going to show you the weeks is how you manipulate the memory of the game so it doesn't crash or, or, or fall out. Now one of these guards is an officer and he's the one I've got to kill. Okay, now I was going to add a few more things, I got a bit carried away with this squad, there he is. If I kill him, you'll notice there's nothing in the middle, but when he dies, wherever he dies, there he is, you'll now see the security key has now appeared. So let's finish all these off. Cool. So we've now got oh, one more to go. Oh, he's killed himself. Look at that. What a numpty. There you go. Right, so now we've got rid of all the uh, troops. What we're going to do now is we're going to grab our security key. Okay, uh, and then I, I was trying to work out how do we spice this up a bit. So once we've got the security key now, now we've got to go and find the baby odors. So what you don't realise is now is I've re-switched all the guys to reappear again now. So without realising, all the people have reappeared back on again. So it looks like they're still on the screen. And there is our little baby odor lying in the prison cell. Now the one thing I love about those prison cells are the cells. But the thing I hate about them is the big giant flipping keys. I hate the keys. So I'm not going to go, I've got a slightly different way of getting them to reappear. But again, I'm going to show you each of those set logic. So let's go and get the first one. So now that we have the key, what we're going to do is we've got to pick up the baby odor. And while the ships are hang down, and again, this was a suggestion from you guys that submitted this, that we should drop off the guys at the ship. So we have to get the baby odor inside the ship. But that tool is only active when the ships are landed. Yeah, while they're flying around, they can't do it. So only when they land can I get Baby Yoda in time. So let's go and free our Baby Yoda. So we're going to hack this through. And I love this little device. It's a really cool thing. So press this on the screen. And when we do that, that's now going to unlock Yoda. Yoda disappears and reappears outside the prison. So that was my little cheat, so I didn't have to unlock it. And hold on, what's this? Oh no, an Imperial dropship's appeared. So we've got to go and defend our Yoda. Do not let Yoda get killed. Now the good thing here is, uh, before anyone points it out, yes, I know it's not an Imperial ship, but it's the only ships we have in Disney Infinity. So they didn't make any uh, trooper carriers or stuff that we could use. So we have to use what we can do with. If you notice there, I've got I've got the Mandalorian at the top to help me out. I've got some smoke with the ship above us. Don't let Baby Yoda get killed. Now these tropes, troops, tropes, if I can put it, uh, talk properly, uh, these troops will could constantly repeat. Yeah, there's only nine, uh, and the tips that I used from the Mandalorian level was that they keep repeating. So again, it's a massive battle, but we've only got nine of them to worry about. So keeping the numbers low. Yeah, we can cheat that way. Don't. Right. Now in this in this game you've only got one level, so if you die it's all over, right? So we're going to try and get him to our ship. The ship's coming into land. So, oops, I've thrown him down. Whoops, I need to go and grab him. Always oh, jump back down again. Right, let's get him in before that ship takes off again. So we move it across. Now when we throw the baby Yoda into the, the thing, right, the ship will blow up. There it goes. And we've got our first wave done. Woohoo! That was close. Now, I'm playing this on easy level to show you how the mechanics work. And I'm going to play it again on extreme hard difficulty. Because I'm making it look easy. But I've done it on purpose. So here, what we need to do is collect as much health as possible to get us full back to health. Because if you die, the game is over. Yeah, and that's the object. So let's go to the next base. We're going to set this one off. So we've got one Baby Yoda safe it away. We've got another one to do. Here we go. Cool. And then we step back. Here's our Baby Yoda before we do anything. And the Imperial uh, Troop Ship's going to come flying in again. Oh my god, here they come. And here they are. And I thought it was a different way of getting the Imperials to appear from dropping down. So they actually look like they're on the screen. And for some reason, my Mandalorians at the top there are running away. Well, thanks for the help. Yeah. That is not the way. You're meant to come back and help me. So I don't know why they've done a runner. Oof. 
And the one thing I quite like with uh, Boba Fett, he is still the voice of the Mandalorian. If you've ever watched the show, he sounds just like him. It's flipping awesome. Let's get some extra health. Now we've got to get Baby Yoda to a ship. Right, where's he gone? I keep losing him sometimes. Sometimes of where the baby Yoda goes, I can't find out where he's gone. But the ship's above us, the smoke's in the way, and the smoke actually was quite good because it made you not able to find your character. Yeah, well, I need to pick up baby Yoda. Let's get out of here. Now, in my game, I haven't got... Baby Yoda can die. It'll respawn again. It's only me that can't die. So if you wanted to make it difficult, you could do it if one of the Baby Yodas dies, then you you failed your mission. I do like his jetpack. And the Falcon is there. Cool. Excellent. We're going to make this one in time. Check that in before it flies. Oh, missed it. Oh, quick. So again, only active while the ship is there. So Baby Yoda's done. And they've all died because the ship has exploded. And they've all exploded into the screen. So excellent. So we've just got one more to do. And I'd say it is a fun level to play. It really is quite cool. Right, where's my last one? Now you can even spice this up more and give it a time limit to do it under. But I want to make it harder that you, it's going to take some skill to do. So I'm playing this on easy and we'll do it again on hard. And you just shoot. So we set this up. And like I say, I'm going to show you all the logic mechanics in here. And if you want to say it's a bit tricky, yeah, it is tricky. It's, it's if you organise, it's going to be pretty good. Um, uh, as long as you keep the things in fashion, it is going to push some of you. So some of you don't have to do all three uh, bases. You only have to do one. If you do one chip, so if you're using a, a, a PS3, then only do one chip. Don't do three, three things. Cut the, your memory down. See, my yep, Baby Yoda just got killed there, but I do get Baby Yoda to respawn just in case, because that was, if he died, there was no way we were going to get him out to get him out. I could do it that if he died, uh, he goes back in the prison cell, so I have to use the computer to relock it. That might be better, because it's hard to do that while the people are still shooting you, so that makes it even more difficult. So come on, come on, Mando, save, save the baby Yoda. Where has he gone? I've lost baby Yoda now. I can't see him in the smoke. He's somewhere in here. Where has he gone? Where's my backup coming? Come on, bounty hunter, stop backing me up. I've lost him, I can't find him. I've lost Baby Yoda, where is he? He should be around me with me somewhere. There he is, oh there he is. Right. Let's grab him, let's get him to the ship. Right, let's go. Come on Mandalorians, protect me. There you go. Right, there's the ship. Gonna get in there before he gets it. Oh, the ship's taken off just in time. Right, I don't want him to run away, so let's chuck him in the back here. And let's hold these guys off. Let me know what you think of the level. I wanted a, a true adventure. I didn't just want a blast and show. I wanted objectives in different stages, and hopefully I've, I've captured that. Right. Let's grab Baby Yoda. Come on, keep him to one side. I don't want him running away. As the ship land, oh, the ship's landed. Excellent. Hey, presto. And our mission is over. We got all three bo baby Yodas out and we have succeeded. So that is my Mandalorian level. It returns me back and everything is done and our game is complete. Now, I've set it up that I can just press the reset. So I'm going to show you the logic how you can reset and do it again. 
Now I'm going to play this game again with a soaker, so someone who hasn't got a jetpack. And the reason why I'm using a soaker because there's rumours she's going to be in season two, so she's still connected to the Mandalorian. But one thing different, I'm going to set it on super hard difficulty. Okay, so let's reset everything. Okay, and let's do this with a soaker on extreme. So now we've got Ahsoka doing the start of the level. Now this doesn't last as long, by the way, because I'm not good. I thought I was. I thought I was a Jedi. I obviously am not. Now Ahsoka's different now because she doesn't have the jetpack. She doesn't able to fly. So what I'm going to do now is look to see where is the blue bar. I'm looking to see where is my guild member. And you'll notice there's no collectibles here at the moment because we haven't activated them, so they don't appear until it's been activated. And you'll notice no blue bar there at all. So he's somewhere else in the city. And I can't see him anywhere. Oh, where is he? Ah, oh, there he is, just over the tail. And also what I've got to do is, the contact is a different member. Of, there's about four or five different types of people it can be. They even look differently as well. So let's go and find my staff member. Where is he? And hey, press that. Oh, it's Biggs. There you go, Biggs. We go up to them, collect the coins. Right, I've got three minutes to get as many coins as I can get. And just to point out again, you didn't realise that I was getting rid of all those people walking the streets when I did the battle. I just got them to disappear and then reappear in between different sessions. And that way, the game comes to life. That way, you don't realise that when you're fighting, you're only focused on enemies. All those other people are taking up memory so we can switch them on and off. So the map now becomes slightly better. If you haven't got a jetpack person, these different levels running through the streets is quite tricky. Now I've played this a number of times to test it so I know where they are and what's the best route. And also, I just I got I thought I'd play with the soaker because I can mention just one thing now. Those that still watch this clip right to the very end. Uh, Battlefront 2 has now finished its development. We've had the last update, which is great. But one thing I was really disappointed with Battlefront 2 was we never got to play with Ahsoka. Which is a shame, but if, if you've got Disney Infinity, I've been playing with this Ahsoka for five years now. So I've had the ability to play with Ahsoka, which she is one of my favourite all time Star Wars characters. I think she's brilliant in the Clone Wars. A couple of you asked me to do uh, a Clone Wars uh, episode and I've just seen the final season which again that was brilliant as well uh, and I'd love to do something to do with the uh, the Mandalore battle with um, what's it with Darth Maul that was an ep excellent episode so they really finished off the Clone Wars really well so I really love this uh, so but she is definitely one of my favorite characters and I think the figure itself is one of the best characters in the whole set not getting as many this time, only 13 people. Now with it on extreme difficulty it's essential I have them backed up. But the game works quite well and, and you have your certain objectives, you've got to complete your tasks, it works. I think it works, um, I quite like there's different levels to it, so there's collecting level, there's jumping around level, there's a shooting level, there's getting your ship, so again I want to try and mix it up all within the same game. Uh, and this is done on the PS4 and yeah we we did use the memory to its max on this one by the way but if you want to give it a go I tell you it's a really good world to work out and I will break down every single stage on this so let's go through right I'm not going to be able to collect anymore I don't think I'm going to get time so let's go to the guards let's take these guards out So here they come, time's running out, clock's gone. And here we go, right. Let's go and take these guys. Let's see what this looks like on extreme. Oops, I keep forgetting, I'm I'm doing I've just jumped between the two. I forgot to block it, I'm jumping all over the place. Right. I don't know what to say thing. They are not none of them are getting damaged, it's impossible. I'm hot, I'm nearly dead already. Soka needs a bit more training I think and I'm dead now the difference here is when you die you are now trapped in a prison that's it the game is over 
So when I move forward, that will trigger that the game is over and it will then say, sorry guys, you didn't do it. You get one chance at this. <laughs> so by having it on a harder level, it does make the game a lot more challenging uh, uh, and works really well. Right, well that is my Mandalorian level. And I hope you watch over the next few weeks how to put this all together. And I do hope you give it a go because it's a real good level to make. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and speak to you soon. Cheers.